on the chit chat. Hold on, let me put on. I put on some purple earrings. Look, um, my friend Wanda has a channel on here, the Wanda, and girl, she came to me a while back. What the hell? She came to me a while back and asked me for advice on how to start up a YouTube channel, and I gave her some advice, and I told her don't spend a lot of money on, you know, equipment and all that. Tell me why this helpful. A couple of months later, this helper has a complete production company. So we were chit-chatting a couple of months ago, and I said, look, how the hell are you going to have a complete production company? You know, your, your uh, content is A1, and I'm coming on camera with purple lipstick and a bonnet. And she busted out laughing. I said, sis, I don't care. I'll be showing up looking hot, miss. Yes, friend, look. Y'all, I blew up my hair last night from wash to finish. It took me like four or five hours. I was over it. Let me get a comb so I can give y'all some hair porn. And it's already shrunken up. Oh yes. It's pretty much, especially when I take it down, you can see it, especially at the root, that it, it shrunk up already. I hope y'all can see this. The quality is dark today for some reason. I may make the camera a little bit lighter, but my hair is very dark anyway. So, um, I trimmed my ends, not a lot, but we did what we could. I'll take it down and put it back up for y'all. Cause, cause y'all ain't gonna get this hair for a while. <laughs> because I'm gonna do a, um, I'm going to be doing a, oh hell, I'm supposed to be styling my hair. I'm supposed to be styling my hair now. So you see how it's already, girl. Yes, come through. Well, what song can I sing with this hair? I'm coming out. No, 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 that's not too. That's not, let, let me sing. Uh, what's the Chaka Khan song? Girl, what's my favorite song by Chaka Khan? It's not one of her most popular. Do you like what you feel? I, do you, do you, do you? Do you like what you feel? I forgot the words already. <laughs> Girl, that's a style in itself, hell. This is what I could do for my birthday, girl, now. I was wanting to do flexi rods for y'all, but I also don't want to go to bed with like 30 flexi rods on. Y'all see that? Ciao. And I can feel it. It's already getting bushy. Um, So, I'm like, no, we ain't gonna do flexi rods. I'm gonna do a flat twist with perm rods. It's gonna be pretty, y'all. So those of you who've been rocking with me for a while, y'all know my hair grows out like this and then it comes down. So she is, she's grown. Yeah, she's grown and this is what this side. Look at that girl. Come through soft B-rated porn. Okay, Vivian, y'all have to excuse me. Hold on, let me kind of comb this out. Oh Lord have mercy. Why though when I when I was blowing it out, I tried to do as much on camera and I did film this, which is gonna be a hot mess because it's been a couple it's been a minute since I've blown out my hair. It's, it's been a while. So and I have to do it sober. Well, yeah. So um hold on boo boo. So anyway, um while I was blowing up my hair. I was like 75% done, right? And I'm going th already going through my head. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm. Why did I get to something right here? I felt a clip. Y'all, I almost started crying. Like I legit almost started crying because I thought I was done. It was like right here, this right here. I had to do. Yeah. So let me get the hush up and turn around to the back. I don't know what the back is looking like, but. Ooh, child, it is annoying to have a smart kid. He figured out. He look. He got a bobby pin, bent the bobby pin. I'm like, what the hell have you been watching on TV? Bent the bobby pin and was able to unlock the door. Girl. Yes, now I'm giving you um, uh, Jody Watley. I'm looking for a new love, baby, a new love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, let's get into this video. So y'all know how we do, but this is gonna be a birthday edition. So I'm gonna show y'all what all I got for my birthday. Yes. So I buy things for myself on my birthday. I demand gifts. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't do that. Um, some people gave me gifts. My husband was like, here's my credit card. Now, what do I have to do for that? <laughs> um, 
I yeah but since it was my 40th birthday I wanted to go all out and get me a bunch of different things but I also bought myself some outfits because we were supposed to go to California and of course that's not happening so you guys y'all know how we do this I left all my chit chat notes up in the front we talk about what's going on in these YouTube streets we talk about personal life and we talk about what I've been watching so I do remember what I was gonna speak about I don't know if it's because what I'm watching now I'm not sure if it's because I did a video or not but I'm noticing I'm getting a recommendation for videos regarding the um the Mayel incident with her and Linda and y'all I probably have watched at this point I did watch charades I watched another young lady lady who was upset about um that Monique basically ignored her uh, when she asked how she felt what was her position when it came to the George Floyd incident and I, I think I watched like one more person but at this point I'm gonna say this I am very I'm side-eyeing some people not everyone not and not you know everyone that I even mentioned I'm gonna make that clear right now but I can definitely tell when people are I'm not gonna watch my language. This is a chit chat. When people are not, they're just here for the shits and, and giggles at this point. Um, they are here for the drama and they're riding the coattails or the curtails or whatever, you know what I mean? And so it's really hard, cause we don't know these people and quite frankly, you don't even know me. It's really hard to tell who is really empathetic and then who's just here to make a, a video about drama. So doing a hard side eye and I'm not looking at any more of the videos at this point because I'm like whatever and I did tell Linda to let her know this is blown out of proportion this is blown this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be and if it gets too crazy I will put my video on private I'm about to spank this child or give him a good 1984 but anyway um besides that I'm not really looking at a lot on YouTube I did see I'm seeing a couple more I've been natural for or no I'm perming my hair after five years of being natural okay sis you know and do whatever you want baby but be prepared for the wrath of some of these other you know because people will share you know their their feelings on that so so that's what all I'm watching on YouTube personal life for personal life we will be showing y'all what all I'm buying and you know gifts or whatever so starting with some jewelry I got these earrings here y'all have to excuse the background I'm literally I'm gonna have to I bought these earrings from Walmart for only three bucks they're really cute huh again the intentions were to have some stuff to I reached out to Rhonda, aka Miss Delightful, because she makes, sorry y'all have to put this hair up, she makes beaded bracelets. And she made me these purple with a, a lion Leo Lego, not Lego, girl, the Leo sign. What was so funny, she was like, you know, with you being a Leo, I know you like things a certain way and you could be, you know, y'all could be a little extra. I'm like, what? Me? Extra? This is what it looks like on um, my favorite color is purple by the way y'all i did my nails again by the way yes isn't this pretty this this is very heavy i could tell that she used quality beads for this and so very very pretty i'm gonna show y'all close up what some of them look like very nice very very nice i sent her um well as soon as i got the man i sent her a text message i'm like they're in they're in let me get them, child. And it came with this great sash that I had to steal from Jay because he started putting his little raggedy ass Legos in them. This boy. All right, <clears throat> continuing with jewelry, I purchased this fashionable watch band from my Apple Watch. Pretty. So this attach, attaches to, see, this is so, I can tell the difference. This is cheap. This is so lightweight. This is literally about 10 of those. Then again, some of the beads are smaller, but it will basically attach to my Apple Watch. Oh, this is kind of tight. It's okay. And it'll look like that. Very nice, very nice. Um, I'm gonna show this because this is just right here. My neighbor dropped off, when was it? Yesterday. This is called a Danish, a Danish dough whisker and she said you could use it for anything I've never seen this before or heard about this so I unwrapped it and I'm like okay now I don't make a lot of pastries I don't I don't make a lot of stuff with dough but I guess I don't know I, I can figure out how to use it y'all so that's cute um 
let's get into what my husband got me literally he was like here's here's the card get what you want so i purchased this azor dip powder kit through amazon comes with several colors okay and then i also got hold on y'all i just used this today i purchased a new lead uv lamp for my gel nails and they worked really good um i mean i just did my nails today i don't know if you guys can really see that um it, this is not one of these colors this is the color that i purchased through ulta and literally my nails were done two minutes after using the what the hell's going on with the color sorry y'all literally two minutes my nails were done okay on to shoes purses accessories because that's what we have so i got this purse very very cute isn't this cute this is a blush paint with the quilted front huge beautiful bow i love the hardware on here gold um more of the quilt pat pattern on the back the inside it's okay it's a good size i like this bucket like tote purse um a good size okay i purchased it through amazon now typically y'all i need to look at it i need to feel it you know before i purchase something especially a purse but i figured you know let me just try it out so i like it i like it really really cute okay and then this thing child i got this purse through dsw honey when it came in i was like what in a picnic basket hell uh-uh i don't know y'all it was 19 dollars. i haven't even opened it up I like the beaded. That's what I was really, you know, I didn't realize that it had this basket weave here at the bottom. I would prefer if it had this canvas going all the way down, but it's okay. And she's a good size too. Um, I haven't even opened these up. I purchased some black pumps. I used to have some just like this. Actually, I still think I have them in there. Ooh, this is cute. Is this suede? Yeah, this is like a suede. <clears throat> let me see if i can unzip this yeah i had some just like these well i still have them that's cute look at that now for me because miss jackson is fast this right here is a short hill for me that's short i mean i could do a little two-step in this and be okay so to me that's short but this is good this looks very comfortable what the hell is it? oh okay i don't like that I don't like this right here. They could have done, they could have been, you know, they didn't have to be there. I don't like that circular attachment, but very, very cute. Very cute though, really nice. We went to Ross, y'all, Ross opened up. I've only gone to a department store. That's the only department store I've gone to and after that I was too, I'm too afraid. <laughs> so yeah, so me and JB stopped by Ross. Okay, look at these floral print. Aren't these cute? These scream spring and summer. All of these dresses through ASOS. Now this looks slouchy when you see it, but it's really cute on. It's a little too big in the front here and it's short. It's short. Well, I'm short, so it goes to my, um, let me pull this chair back. So this is how it will look like on. And I may do a try on haul for y'all after I drop a couple of 10 pounds. All of these dresses came in a size 12. This is by ASOS and it ties here at the side there. This is also from ASOS. Now this dress fits off the shoulder like that. You see that? And it's a little tight up in the titties. But y'all, excuse my language. I honestly think it's because the fabric isn't giving in the front and it should be giving it has this pretty floral print and look at the sleeves long sleeves is short um very whim whimsical very very spring very pretty this dress i got from venus is very low cut but since my girls have been done and they sitting right i don't need to wear a bra i can just put a little um titty glitter in the front <laughs> i'm so y'all excuse it but it has long sleeves. So I don't know what I was thinking getting everything with long sleeves. It has these long bell sleeves. Very 70s, 60s feel. Mostly 60s. Um, late 60s, early 70s. The back. Very form fitting. Last dress is giving me. What do y'all see when you see this? You old school. You know what this looks like. Blessed and highly favored. Running away, running up. Okay, Vivian. So this reminds me so much of the Clark Sisters 1980. What was that? 1987 um, concert where they had the other sister in there who had two kids out of weight. Like, yeah, this is what this is giving me. So I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and put this on and have an indoor concert. <laughs> 
that is it y'all those are all of my gifts that i've gotten so far now i know one of my subscribers t she sent me a message a message a couple of days ago to say that i had something coming in but i wanted to get this video out there and thank you in advance t for whatever you're sending me i'm pretty sure it's gonna be fabulous so y'all what i'm watching baby i had time i had time these couple of few days to start watching so i finished dark it was so good you guys dark is on netflix and it's one of those type of shows you need to be sober while you're watching it you need to pay attention um based out of germany and it deals with time travel i'm not going to give a lot but it deals with time trap travel and other dimensions really really good i just finished it and i just um there was a nice scene again with johan I, his name incorrectly it's spelled jonas but they pronounce it differently of course since they speak german so anyway um let me stop being thirsty finish that almost done with rain season three of rain was released like this week so i'm on the very last episode absolutely love it i don't know how i feel about these last two these last two episodes though I don't know it's not actually i should say the last three episodes it's not what i expected but it's still a pretty good show again it's called the rain and it's also on netflix i believe they are speaking um danish on the show which is interesting because some of the words of course danish is a completely different language but sometimes i'm thinking are they speaking french really interesting um what else what else what else am i watching y'all baby love Baby love, let me tell you something. My husband, from now on, he needs to start start referring to me as baby love, y'all. <laughs> I am watching. Why did none of you help us recommend 90 Day Fiance to me? Girl, I am watching 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. And this show could be should be called What the Hell Was I Thinking? I have no self-worth. Uh, I'm desperate for love and for the, for the pain and error pocketbook, whatever your, your cup of tea is. These people are so desperate for love to be needed. It is absolutely sad. And it doesn't matter what their background is. It doesn't matter what their social economic status. It is very sad to see people this desperate to be, to feel, to feel like they need someone in their life to feel complete. Um, and I honestly have to say the saddest person in my opinion, I forgot his name. He is the older gentleman, very wealthy, who is basically set to retire and he's going over to Russia to meet this woman. He's had an online relationship for like, what, like seven years? But the most child, what is she doing? Girl, keep walking. Keep walking. Go check your mail. Um... Of course, the one with the girl from the, um, I think she's she in the Philippines and the big guy, Ed, who basically doesn't have a neck. He comes off as very sweet, but he has to know that this young girl is only coming to him for money. Come on now, y'all. Give me a break. So, yeah, I'm on like, first of all, there's so many episodes. I'm like, I can't finish this, you know. So, I think I'm on like episode seven. Um, Lisa and Usman, the Nigerian, what is his name, Soldier Boy, or Soldier Boy, that's his stage name, y'all, I was cracking up laughing when Lisa went to, um, I guess they're on his way to his hometown, he's, he's based out of, out, out of Nigeria, why do these people do their research before they go into other countries, she was surprised to see that there wasn't any toilets in certain hotels, all there was was a bucket, and she's like, what is this? He's like, you take your bath and you done. Honey, I immediately, after the third third episode, I immediately started finding everyone and subscribing to them. Now, I just feel so bad for these people. And I get it. No one wants to be alone. But at the end of the day, you do not need another person to complete you. If you don't feel completed without adding another person in, you're going to have problems. Um, you, you just are. So all I'm saying is that you can't find happiness in another person now they can make you happy the experiences can make you happy but your happiness does not come about when you get married or when you find that that love that in your life that doesn't bring that's not going to bring you happiness because it's going to be hard in that relationship you're going to have ups and downs and so some of these folks are too old to be acting like this honestly so thank you so much for watching i know that this was all over the place when is it not and be on the lookout for this Yes, girl, be on the lookout for these hair videos. Be on the lookout. Now that I'm 40, I'm going to be giving y'all advice because I know everything now. <laughs>
<laughs> Who was I talking to? I was talking to Angel the other day and I told her, I said, I have a video idea, 40, 40 things I've learned before 40. And she's going, oh, this sounds good. I said, girl, not a damn thing. <laughs> she started laughing. She's like, what's it, girl? I haven't learned a damn thing. No, I have learned overall um, as far as relationships go and work, you know, all that type of stuff. So do be expecting a video like that. Um, I'm going to try to get some of my beauty products together, 40, 40 of my favorite beauty products. And it could be hair products, too. It could be makeup. So things like that for this month, y'all. Um... And definitely, and of course, those other hair related videos are coming because I have them filmed, but I'm, I'm going to be stretching everything out. So that is it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.